Welcome to another tutorial video with Art Explorium. My name is Miss Ashley and today we're going to be learning about oil pastel resist with watercolor. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. For today's project you're going to need a few different materials. You're going to want to have some type of watercolor paper. It needs to be a nice thick paper that can hold watercolor. You also want to have some type of oil pastels. And then you also want to have some watercolor brushes some sort of jar or cup to use for water. And you want to have some kind of watercolor set. I like to use the pans where you can just mix up the colors, but there's lots of different kinds of watercolors you can use. Our first step is going to be to add our oil pastels to our paper. So I've started to do that here and you can see my design. Um, so you're going to use the oil pastels kind of like a crayon or pencil to draw different designs onto your watercolor paper. When you do this, it's creating a resist. So that means that the oil pastel and the watercolor cannot mix because one is oil based and one is water based and oil and water cannot mix. So when you do this, you're going to draw a design. It can be anything you want. You can draw an actual picture. You can draw something with just shapes and colors. Um, anything you want to do. And then after we draw our design, we will begin to paint. So for example, if I wanted to draw something that was more of an actual picture, I could do that with the oil pastels. And when you draw with them, you want to make sure you're drawing by pushing pretty hard because you want to make sure you fill in the watercolor paper with the oil pastels completely. Like so. So um, that's what we're going to do first. And then next I will show you some techniques on how to use the watercolor. Once your oil pastel is drawn onto the paper, we're going to start to paint. I'm going to use an extra piece of watercolor paper I have to show you a few watercolor techniques before we get started. You can do this practice on a separate paper if you have one, but you can also just use this techniques that I'm showing you to go directly onto the final watercolor paper where you drew your oil pastels when you actually start painting. So watercolor works where it is brighter or more colorful, the less water you have diluting the color. So when I mix watercolor, it's all about how much I rub onto the pigment to pick up as much pigment as possible and that would give me something pretty bright. You have to have some type of water on your brush to make this work. However, if I want to make my color more diluted, I can grab more water from my water jar and dilute that color. Instead of going a lot into the pigment, I would just go a little bit and I would add water to dilute the color. And what I get is something a little bit lighter. And if I dilute it even more, I can get something even lighter than that. And with watercolor, even though if you have any white in your palette, white is not really a color that watercolor will, um, it can't paint over lines or paint over shapes. So in watercolor, you want to leave anything that you want to stay white as the paper. You always leave that as the paper color instead of trying to paint white on top. The white in your palette can be used to mix with any of the other colors, but it won't be able to paint over a color once it's there. To darken a watercolor, you can use the black or you can just use less water and rub more to get the color to be darker. So for example, if I wanted to make a light blue, I would just rub a few times and paint so I could get a lighter shade. If I wanted that shade to be darker, I'd rub a few more times or more saturated and then I would get something a lot darker or brighter or more colorful. Now I think we're ready to start painting on our paper with our oil pastels. So with the oil pastels, what you're going to notice is that the watercolor will not go into the areas um, where the, it'll kind of either be contained. So you can use your shapes to keep the watercolor where you're painting, or you can paint over the whole thing and just watch the oil pastel come back up after. So in order to do that, I'm just going to use a paper towel. So you can grab a paper towel if you need to. And I'm just gonna clean off my palette because I wanna mix new colors now. And you can always keep some paper towels nearby when you're doing watercolor to make it easier for cleanup in case there's any accidents. So if I want to put 
a pink color into those areas, I would dilute my red to make pink. And I could paint pink throughout. And you'll notice, as you can see, that the pink is painting over the oil pastel, but the oil pastel is coming back. So no matter what, even if I paint the pink over that yellow oil pastel, the pink, yellow oil pastel will come back through the paint because they cannot mix. So I can use it almost like as if I'm coloring into my shapes if I want to try it that way. Or you can also use it for um, containing different colors like I'm doing here. If I wanted to paint over the whole thing, I could also do that. So just kind of have fun experimenting with mixing different colors or mixing different shades of colors. See if you can make some brighter colors or some more subtle colors and have fun painting over your oil pastel. I will come back and show you what mine looks like after I finish. So I finished painting on my two watercolors with using my oil pastel resist. Um, so these are the two finished pieces. Make sure that you put away your watercolors and your oil pastels and wipe up your area with a damp paper towel or sponge if um, any watercolor or oil pastel got on there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video on oil pastel resist with watercolor. Don't forget to follow Art Explorium on Facebook and Instagram for our latest updates and tutorial videos.